today we will set up our uh, ule phone note 16 pro this phone has 8 gigabyte of ram and uh, 128 gigabytes of internal storage it comes with android 13 and it is a octa core processor it has a good battery 4400 mAh okay so let's start we will open this box the phone is there whenever you take a phone just charge one or two hours we have already charged this phone for two hours okay so you must have to charge we will remove this paper okay we will take the sim tray this one out the first thing we have to open the tray This phone supports dual SIM, okay, and uh, both SIMs are standby, it is fully unlocked, you can put any kind of SIM card. First SIM goes in this first tray, second SIM is a hybrid, either you put it the second SIM or the memory card. So we will help you how do you can use two SIM cards, okay. We will put it there. Here, according to the situation, you will see the first SIM goes here, and second SIM card goes this way. Okay. Now, this way, you have two SIM cards. Okay. And if you put the one to put the memory card, you just take out this one and put this memory card. So this way go. We put the one same memory card. We are going to put this. We have to push. Okay. And now we will turn on. Here is the power button. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim now our phone is on let's start with system navigation bar press your finger on the screen and swipe upwards it will open all the applications that we have in the phone open settings then smart assistant then press system navigation select three button navigation go back press navigation bar here we choose what kind of navigation we want you can choose whatever you like i will choose this this feels comfortable for me Keep this navigation bar off. Okay. Let's go back. Our navigation buttons are set. Widget settings. Press and hold the time widget. Drag it inside this rectangle. Press this edit and we select this transparent, this second option. Okay. Now again, we will press and hold this time widget and bring it inside this rectangle. 
and now with these sidebars side buttons we can make it smaller or bigger like this we want we can set times like this arrange your applications press your finger on screen and swipe upwards softly we want to arrange these settings select settings and drag it here wherever you want we will bring some more applications. We choose clock. So we will bring it here. Bring some more applications. Maps. This time we want to create, put it in another screen. This way you can arrange your applications. Application and data transfer from your old phone to the new phone. Open the notification panel. Tap Note 16 Pro Setup. Press Start skip mobile network data let's copy your data use your old device you need your old android or iphone device turn it on and keep it unlocked find your old devices cable Use a cable that fits your old device. This is usually the cable used for charging. Insert cable into your old device. Then next, connect both devices using the cable. Okay. When you connect both devices with the cable, then on your old phone you have to open this application google i will bring it outside so you can recognize it better way this application and then follow the instructions on both phones and transfer all your applications and data to the newer phone face and fingerprint unlock go to settings scroll down face and fingerprint unlock tap to setup this phone give us different methods to unlock this phone first one is pattern plus face plus fingerprint Second option give us pin, face, and fingerprint. Third option, you can add alphanumeric password, face, and fingerprint. In this phone, the power button is used for the fingerprint scanner. screencast or phone screen mirroring to tv or any display device using wi-fi let's start first we set auto screen rotation open the settings then display turn on auto rotate screen close open the notification panel
edit and we'll search for screencast here you will find it screencast hold and drag to find the right location go back now we can turn on screencast settings it will show you all the TVs that are linked with Wi-Fi just select your TV then it will send a message on your TV allow this device and that's it screen recording this phone has a wonderful built-in feature that is called screen recording currently i am using this feature to make this video but i will try to explain with some screenshots that will help you to understand open the notification panel you can see screen recording on the top but actually we have to search it open edit then scroll you can see screen recording option in the second portion then you have to press hold and drag to the right position and then you have to open it and you start using here i have some screenshots when you start using it it will give you the options record audio it will give you three different kinds of audio device audio microphone device audio and microphone and in case you want to use show touches on screen in the video you can open this option also and press start for example we can record everything that we are doing on this phone for example we are browsing we can save it record it we are watching anything it will be recorded and then you, you close you can find your videos go to photos library and in the movies folder in this folder you will find your videos screenshot on this phone you can take screenshots in multiple different ways the default method is press volume down button and power button at the same time you will you can take screenshot now we will explore other methods open the notification panel try to explore screenshot widget Press edit here we can see screenshot press hold and drag to the desired location Let's go back open the screenshot you can see different methods if we choose rectangle just press it to make it active and select the area that we want to take the screenshot double tap of your finger and you will be able to take it. 
Next, we will try the other option. Lasso. Just select the area. And then you will see this OK button. Just press this OK button and you will take it. Open any browser where you have it a big page so we can try the other option. Okay. Now we will try the other option. Open the scroll pen notification bar screenshot and press scroll just tap your finger where you want to stop so you can see it takes the You can find your screenshots. Go to photos, screenshot. You can see it. Find my device. Just go to settings, then security. Find my device, turn it on, just add your Google account. This application will be very helpful in case you lost your phone. It's also very helpful when you could not uh, find your phone while you are inside the home. Just open any browser in your computer any browser in your phone and just search find my device if you search it there this will give you the link and then you just log in with your uh, google account and you can find your phone you can play the sound you can play the sound even your phone is on don't disturb mod or even the volume is zero Change home page on Google Chrome. Open Google Chrome. Press this scroll settings. Scroll home page. Press and hold. It select all and we can delete. Then enter HTTPS colon www dot google dot com. Yes, and then close. We open it again. We close the current tab. Data transfer from your phone to the computer. You can transfer the data from your phone to the computer using USB C cable. Connect the cable, then press your finger on the top of the screen and swipe downwards. Here you will see charging this device via USB. Press this one, then press tap for more options. Okay, then select use USB for file transfer. Now you can go to your computer and access all your phone data. phone reset in case you want to reset your phone go to settings then system 
then reset options here you will see three different types of reset options if we choose first reset wi-fi mobile and bluetooth this will reset all network settings including wi-fi mobile data and bluetooth go back and see the second option reset app preferences this will reset all preferences for the applications but it will not erase any data or any applications okay we go back cancel and go back and look at the third option erase all data factory reset if we choose this one it will erase all your data all your music photos that is on the internal memory okay so be careful when you have to do the factory reset always make backup of your data 